So we're at the American Academy for Orthopedic Surgeons. This is the world's largest annual conference for orthopedic surgery. We're all here exhibiting our latest breakthroughs in virtual reality surgical training and the research showing that our technology improves surgical performance anywhere from 200 to 300 percent. A lot of people going into the demos, a lot of people think that there's a lot more of a learning curve. People are surprised that I've seen when they get in there and it's a lot easier than they expected. The best part of my job is being in collaborative sessions with new users. When they come out of the headset, I just like to bask in some of that. The reaction is always the same. They're always so excited, so amazed. You know, it's always wow. You know, a lot of times people want to put the headset back on. And I think it really helps paint the picture of that it's not a video game, that it's truly a medical tool that can help in all aspects of their business. Yeah. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I think it has tremendous capacity. When the pandemic first hit, we maybe weren't able to go into anatomy or able to do that sort of stuff. And I think that this would actually be like a really nice way for us all to still kind of learn from each other. The setup and the instruments on the Mayo and um, it basically looked like when you actually walk into the operating room. So you're really in the operating room, it's simulating a procedure, and I thought it was uh, very, very worthwhile. I think it can be used as an excellent educational tool. Even for an old dog, you can teach something new. <laughs> Primarily, we're coming out to demonstrate that we're on par with these gigantic medical device companies. We are the future of medical education. We can't just keep doing things the same way we've been doing them and expecting things to get better. And we need to start trying new things and being okay with change. And we're starting to see that shift here today and it's actually quite exciting.